Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about a practical differentiator circuit, also referred to as the low frequency differentiator. Again, by looking at the circuit, you can see that it uh, looks very much similar to the ideal differentiator circuit, with the exception that we have added a resistor in series with a capacitor uh, labeled RI. And we're going to see as we analyze the circuit that uh, the addition of this resistor is going to prevent uh, those limitations of the ideal differentiator, namely the amplification of high frequency noise or the unbound, we should say, amplification of high frequency noise. Let's go ahead and do the analysis of the circuit in the frequency domain. And so I'm going to uh, replace the components by their frequency domain equivalents. Uh, so phase or V in, phase or V out, and uh, the resistors stay the same. Their impedances are just equal to the resistances, but for the capacitor, the impedance is 1 over J omega C. I can also see that this resembles um, the structure of an, of an inverting amplifier uh, with resistor RF, the impedance in the feedback path just being RF, and then we will have uh, the series combination of Ri and 1 over J omega C as the um, input impedance. So I can write my H of J omega, my transfer function, which is equal to phase of V out over phase of V in, will be equal to negative Cf over C in, or negative um, Rf divided by Ri plus 1 over J omega C. And I can divide numerator and denominator by Ri, and so I will have negative Rf over Ri divided by 1 plus 1 over J omega Ri times C. Which I can um, extract or take the Rf over Ri, factor it out. And left with um, a multiply times uh, j omega, numerator and denominator, just to do it all in one step, and I'll be left with minus rf over ri times j omega divided by j omega plus 1 over ri times c. And that will be an important expression because, again, it resembles the expression for a uh, the transfer function of a high-pass, first-order high-pass filter, which will be h of j omega equals k times j omega divided by um, j omega plus omega c. And so in this case, this will be our gain factor. And that will be our uh, j omega over j omega plus omega c, with omega c being equal to um, 1 over ri times c. If we wanted to uh, draw or plot the magnitude response of the circuit, meaning magnitude of J omega in dBs versus frequency, we'll see that it resembles that of a high pass filter. So it goes increasing at the rate of 20 dBs per decade until um, it reaches F sub C and then it flattens out. So this will be equal to F sub C in this case it will be equal to 1 over 2 pi ri times c and this will be equal to 20 times the log base 10 of rf over ri and again it resembles the the graph for a an ideal differentiator the ideal differentiator was just increasing uh, unbound this will be the ideal differentiator circuit, the black line will be the practical or low frequency differentiator. So notice that uh, the circuit behaves as a differentiator for frequencies that are uh, much lower than the cutoff frequency. And so circuit behaves as differentiator for a range of frequencies f much lower than the cutoff frequency. 
something uh, else to notice is that in the case of the practical integrator, it was RF, the resistor RF, and the capacitor C, the ones that determine the value of the cutoff frequency, and then RF and RI determining uh, the gain in the passband, whereas in this circuit, it is um, RI, the one that interacts with C, and to determine the cutoff frequency, and uh, RF and RI, again, determine the gain of the circuit. Um, And so uh, the circuit can be used in any application that requires uh, a differentiator or obviously a high pass filter. We had already mentioned some applications of differentiators. They can be used um, in addition to performing uh, the, the derivative of, a, of an input signal. They can be used in applications where you're doing um, detecting events, so event detection applications, wave shaping circuits, etc. Thank you.